Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I also want to, um, sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable. I also want to apologize for the background. My bed sheet that is normally on my bed is being washed. Um, well, technically it's in the hamper. I'm just doing lazy in the wall. Today's video is going to be a first impressions. I haven't done a first impressions in a while. I don't do very many on my channel. I don't know, I just don't. So, today is going to be a first impression on the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 hour foundation with foundation with comfort serum in it. Excuse my nails really quickly. I'm going to be applying these after the video so you'll see them in the next few clips like once I like come back in and check in. Anyways, this is what the foundation looks like. Um I got the shade Ivory 100. The shade below this probably would have been more my shade like it was you know, more my shade, but it was too, too pink. So I decided to go with this one. It might be a little dark, but I'm just going to have to make it work, honey boo boo. So I got this. And then at Walgreens, it was like six something, seven something. Um, I have just been uh, hearing a lot, a lot of people lately talking about how much they love this. They say it's full coverage, and this says it's full coverage foundation. Enriched with a comfort serum, instant perfect coverage that lasts all day, sweat, heat, Humidity and transfer proof for up to 25 hours. That is a big claim. I'm not going to be wearing this for 25 hours. Um, because I'm kind of starting this late in the day. As of right now, it's 12.13. So I'll probably only be wearing this for like 6 hours-ish. But, yes. Um, so, yeah. I just hear a lot of people talk about it recently. So I figured I'd give it a try. So another reason I got this foundation was because the ones that I use now, you guys know I mixed the Makeup Forever one and the Smashbox one. Excuse the hair, I just have it put back for the foundation. But those two do not give me full coverage. And with all my scarring down here and just like my face is terrible. I'm getting my woman thing and it's just it's not a good time. But um, with all this, I want full coverage, you know. I don't want to put on foundation and it's still not cover what I need it to cover. That's why I'm putting on foundation for it to cover it. Um, I still love that combination because the finish is just beautiful. But I wanted to get a full coverage foundation that looks natural. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I want to prime. So I'm going to prime half of my face and not prime the other half. The primers I'm going to be using. I am obsessed with this primer, you guys. This is the Makeup Forever. Oh, gosh. Um, skin Equalizer, it's the hydrating one, the blue one. This is a, sorry, this is a travel size. And, um, I really, really like it. I'm going to apply it to the right side or in the screen, I think it's the left side of me. Just because I feel like my skin has been very dry lately. I'm going to use Smashbox Primer Water, which I got this not too long ago. And I'm like, like, used up a lot. Anyways. So I'm going to spray this on this half of my face and to cover this side I'm just going to use this random thing that I got in the mail today. So ignore that. But yeah, I'm going to be using this which again I also really really like this. It does help prolong my makeup just a little bit, maybe like an extra hour or something. But it really helps I feel like more with how your makeup goes on. So I'm going to try and cover exactly half of my face. So let's go ahead and get started. I hear that this foundation is really, really thick. It's really full coverage. Um, Emily Noel actually put it in her uh, 2015 favorites, which I'm like, okay, it's gonna be really good. By the way, my skin is combination mostly dry though. So everyone says it has a, a, a very strong fragrance. I don't know if it's. I'm not smelling anything, like anything. Okay, so again, it does not have, not again, but it doesn't have a pump, which isn't, you know, ideal, let's be real. But I'm just going to take it, and hopefully it's my shade. It looks a little dark. But usually the foundation I use is too light. It feels very smooth, like very smooth. It's just like gliding onto my face right now. Then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender. I'm going to try with this first. Um, of course, this is a dampened beauty blender. If you didn't know, a beauty blender um, makes your foundation have less coverage. But it's so difficult for me to use. Let me get closer so I can see what's going on. It's so difficult for me to use a um, 
a brush like you can literally see the dryness it's so weird so i'm just patting this in i'm gonna go on this half with um the brush just to see you know i really feel like it blended out very very fast um let's try that brush now this is just the uh real techniques expert base brush um and i'm just gonna start patting this in i never use brush this is so weird okay I got you foundation. I got you brimble. Okay, let's get up close here. I know I haven't finished, but I just want to see. It is a little bit dark for me, you can see. Like, my neck is quite white, but my chest is definitely on my shoulders. It's matching that, so I'm definitely going to have to bring it on my neck. And I'll do that in a little bit. Um, I feel like it blended great on both sides. It's not sinking into any pores. Um, it's sinking in a little bit to some fine lines that I have. Sorry, I was covering you guys. Um, and you can see my scarring is still showing through, but I didn't apply a lot there. My melasma is still showing through, but stuff like that, again, it does. It will always show through until you uh, color correct it. So let me finish it up. Maybe I'll put music over or something until I notice like a big change. But right now, I really, really like it. So I'm gonna finish up the makeup. I think I'm gonna use a brush. Um, because again, I do feel like I got a little more coverage from the brush than normal. So, yeah. So, I'm just seeing if I can build it up in certain places that I need more coverage. I would say it's about medium. Let's see if it's buildable. Right. And I do feel like I got a little bit cakey where I put more, but it's not that bad. I'll go ahead and blend this down my neck, and then I'll be back and we'll talk some things out, shall we? It is so incredibly smooth and buttery feeling. Like, usually you don't say that about, about a foundation. Usually you say that about a powder with so creamy and buttery. This literally, the lines on like you're putting butter on your skin. <laughs> Which doesn't sound good, but it is a really, really nice feeling. Uh, I don't think it looks cakey. Just in the areas that I tried to build more on top. And I feel like it is just almost full coverage. Just almost there. Not quite there yet, though. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to use. I'm going to take Maybelline's Fit Me. What? Maybelline Fit Me underneath my eyes and then set that with Makeup Forever. And usually, I will take this and set my chin and my area right here above my mouth. Um, and I'll come back when I start doing powder just so you guys can, you know. I realized... That I didn't mention that the uh, foundation is not clean to any dry patches. And I know right now, if I were to be wearing like my Makeup Forever one, it would definitely um, attach to my dry patches uh, where all these pimples are. So, yes. It's not clean to any dry patches, any little blackheads that I have on my nose. I did do a pore mask <clears throat> today, but it didn't take out everything. You know how that goes, girl. Okay, so I'm just going to finish off the other eye, and then I'll be back. I'm doing a little bit of baking also, by the way, so if you see a little bit of powder, that's I'm going to brush it off in a little. I'm not, like, completely baking, where you put, like, a half of your product, but I'm just doing a little bit. Where, I mean, there's, like, powder that I want. Okay, so again, I'm going to take this sponge, and I'm going to dip into the product, and I'm going to set my trim. I just feel like um, my uh, Maybelline powder gets a little bit cakey there. Okay, so now really quick, um, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, which is a great powder. I really do like it. Um, if you put too much on, though, it will look cakey. I have it in transparent, so it won't be changing the color of this foundation. I'm going to apply that with the e.l.f. Uh, Kabuki Base Brush. And I just need to get a little bit on there. You can't even see the product. And I'll just start to... Oh! Let me see if it's even a... Uh, if it transfers or anything. I don't think it transfers. Just maybe a little bit. So you don't even have to set this. But I always recommend setting your foundation. Even if you're like me and you have dry skin. It makes your blush, your bronzer, your highlighter blend seamlessly. And it, uh, by the way, has probably like a natural finish. It's a little bit glowy. But not like, a, I wouldn't say it's a dewy foundation at all. It just has a little bit of a shine to it. Um, but, so I'm going to go.
go ahead and go off camera and do my makeup. It's not going to be anything wisely. So, but it's still still. But yeah. So, I will be back um, just to show you and tell you if the bronzer blended fine over it and all that junk or jazz. So, yeah. I will be right back. Alright, guys. So, I am back. I finished all my makeup. My hair still isn't done and I still haven't done the nails. I just figured I'd do it after I inform you of all the new news. So, First things first, um, cheek products, I use something, or all three products I use are stuff that I know works, and they're not usually unblendable. So, real quick, I'll go through it. I use Essence Sun Club Bronzer, which I'm obsessed with this. It's $5. Go get it. They have one for deeper skin tone, too. This is a natural for the lighter skin tone, for the lighter skin tone girl. And that's what I use as my bronzer. I did no contouring today. I mean, I kind of tried to keep it in a contour level. Don't know. Okay. And then blush. I use the Essence Silky Touch Blush in Baby Doll, which again, I love this blush. It blends beautifully. It's gorgeous. And then that highlight, though, is um, Physicians Formula Natural Nude Shimmer Strips. Um, and I just used the top row up there. Everything blended great. I didn't feel like I need to really work harder or anything. Real quick, everyone raves about the, or they used to, the Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Trio and Walking on Eggshells. And I finally picked it up like a couple months ago and I never used it. So today I used it. Um, I love it. I usually never, never use shimmery shades or even a satin finish shade in my crease but I did it today and I lure it I lure it girl so go get you some okay so I think that's all the update that I really have to do everything blended great it hasn't gone funky yet now usually okay usually I will set my makeup with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So I will be setting, again, the half prime side because usually when I'm wearing my normal foundation and all that, I will prime with those two primers and then set with this. Notice a difference with the primers. I don't, I think this side looks a little bit more smooth and less, a little less dry and cakey. So I will continue using this foundation if I like it by the end of the day with primer. So let's do this. This is so weird. <laughs> but I'm going to go. I will check back in with you guys a couple of times throughout the day. Right now, it is a 12.50. My little Austin bear. Um, so, yeah. Hello. Oh, uh, not hello. Anyways. So, welcome back to the video. Um, don't know how to do this. Anyways, so, it is currently 3.50. Wow, that's pretty good timing because didn't I show you guys the time at like 12.50? Um, I need a mirror. That would help with what I have to say about swanning shit. By the way, I'm not naked. Can you see it? It's just strapless. I was wearing... Hold on. I was wearing my other dress and I spilled something on it, so that happened. Um, okay, let's look at this foundation. You know what I did forget to say? I feel like I didn't say in the first process of me putting this on that it looks natural it really does look very natural I don't see really any cakiness anymore I feel like my oils have come through a little bit so the cakiness that was a little tiny bit there is kind of just gone basically I am super super impressed with this foundation I have I didn't really have anything else to say um I just wanted to quickly come on here, you know, at least like halfway point, sort of, kind of, and just tell you what's going on. I I have nothing bad to say about this. I really, really like this foundation. I will be back probably no later than 7 because I don't want to do this when it's too, too dark and you guys can't see anything. So, I'll be back in a couple more hours to inform you about some new stuff. If you are screaming, it is because it is... 7.43 at night and my nephew is here and my cousin's here so they're playing hide and seek or something and they're screaming like mad people 
But anyways, and I'm sorry about the lighting. If you guys don't know, I don't have studio lights. Usually I film in the daytime and I can just use natural light, which I personally like better. So I just have on my super yellow light up above in my room, my ceiling fan. So I'm sorry if the lighting isn't the best, but I can explain everything that I'm seeing. I absolutely positively love this foundation. I really, really love this foundation. Again, everyone who I've seen that used it, they all had oily skin. I don't think not one person I heard say that they love this foundation said that they had dry skin. The It's so interesting how it goes on to the skin. It literally feels like you're putting a serum or your moisturizer or something like super silky soft on your skin when you spread it out. And I have said this a million times on my channel before, the only reason why you ever see me use a beauty blender to blend out my foundation is because I can't use a brush, literally. <clears throat> if you guys didn't know, I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, I don't know if I have it in or not, I haven't run through the clips. But if you didn't know, a beauty blender, you always dampen your beauty. It's, it's, I'm tired, okay? Anyways, you always dampen your beauty. You always dampen your beauty blender when you're going to use it. You never want to dry a beauty blender. It's never going to work. What's the purpose of even spending $20 on it? But it will soak up some of your product. No matter what anyone says, it soaks up a little bit of product. So let's say if you have like a full coverage front or full-ish coverage foundation and you want it more sheer that day, that's a great thing to use. And that's what I'll do when I want that sheer coverage. But when I want pretty full coverage, I will use a brush and I can use a brush with this foundation, which is just amazing. I think that any foundation that I use for or this combination would be a lot more full coverage if I could use a brush, but I can't use a brush when I use that other stuff. And I think it's because this foundation claims it has a serum with it, a comfort serum, and I really believe that that's why it makes my skin look hydrated. Um, I'm going to peel the back of this because it says peel back. Let's see. Nothing. I have just the tiniest bit of oil, but it's giving me that, oh, she looks really, you know, dewy sort of look without being like, oh my gosh, that girl's oily, you know? It's not caking up on my chin, which is where I have the most problem, and it's not caking up right here either with where my melasma is, because in those two areas, and in, in my forehead area, I apply quite a bit. I did apply quite a bit to cover up the acne scarring, the melasma, the pimples up on my forehead. So, I can't say enough good things about this. I don't know if it lasts 25 hours. Um, I will definitely keep you guys updated and try and work for like full, like, probably the longest I'll ever wear foundation is like 10 hours. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted on this foundation, but I gotta say, this is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I think the color is actually really good. By the way, I know I'm in like a different outfit. I've done three clips and they've all been in different outfits. That's because the first one, again, I spilled something on it. Then I put on that uh, dress, that trap lift dress, just because I spilled something on the other one and I didn't feel like putting on pants and a bra and all this because you don't need to wear a bra with that one. <gasps> They'll never know. Anyways, but I don't like to go out. Well, I didn't want to go out in that one because it's a little bit colder out today. And it's very windy, so like I would have flew up in. That's not good. That's not good. So I decided to just throw in something I wore yesterday, you know. Because I had to go to the store and get like shampoo and all that junk. You did not need to know this. Oh, by the way, um, I told you guys that I was going to try out those press on nails. Are you kidding me? They looked like complete shizzle. Okay? They looked so bad. Actually, the four fingers didn't look that bad. First off, they were way, way, way too long for my liking. So I definitely had to trim every single one. And the four weren't bad when I got done trimming. But the thumb. you guys enjoyed this video um i think you all know that i love this foundation so much and i'm so excited i just can't hide it and my grandma's phone is ringing so i'm gonna go right now adios
Adios, be nice. Take it away. Okay, bye.